Our next story is for former Twitter employees. Were you recently laid off from Twitter? Did you decide to part ways after the Musk takeover? Are you looking for a new job? Well, companies are making a beeline to hire former Twitter employees. We have a list. Investment bank Barclays, car maker Jaguar Land Rover, Indian Twitter rival Koo and many more have made open offers to lure Twitter employees. Some employers, as a part of their pitch in fact, are hitting out at Elon Musk directly. Like Katie Burke, she serves as the chief people officer at HubSpot. She has penned a LinkedIn post to prospective hires and I'm quoting, as a leader, getting criticized is part of your job. Great leaders recognize debate and disagreement makes you better and is part of the process. If you want a place where you can disagree with people, HubSpot is hiring. And there are more like her, like Amanda Richardson. She works as the chief executive for recruitment at Coder Pad. Richardson has written an open letter to former Twitter employees. She describes Musk's takeover of Twitter as terribly frustrating, depressing, and demotivating. And what is her hiring pitch? I'm quoting from it. At Codapad, we believe your skills say it all, not where you sit, not if you sleep at work, not working seven days a week for 18 hours a day. Barclay says it has 3,000 positions open. The investment bank's chief operating officer, Mark Ashton Rigby, too, has offered support. He said, and I'm quoting, I'm a firm believer that when one door closes, another one opens and out of adversity can come opportunity. If you are embarking on a new chapter and are reading this, take it as a sign that there could be something very exciting for you just around the corner. Apple ap applied today. These are uncertain times. Big tech companies are sacking employees left, right and center. But it seems like there is hope for those who have been laid off from Twitter. They could find opportunities beyond the tech sector. What about those who have decided to stay on? Well, they could consider moving out of the company as well. A survey has come out. 400 current Twitter employees decided to voluntarily participate in this. They were asked about the future of the platform. A whopping 89% of the workers said Twitter will fail under Elon Musk. Just 2% will recommend taking up a job at Twitter to their friends and family. The majority is also questioning the way Elon Musk went about the layoffs. 63% think the mass sackings could have been avoided. They believe the business could have been restructured or the company leadership could have taken a different route. But Musk continues to stand by the layoffs. He recently said, the best people are staying, so I am not super worried. Experts, however, are disagreeing. Listen to this. I think Twitter does have a future, but it looks pretty uncertain right now. Certainly with the mass walkouts that we've seen following that huge round of redundancies as well, uh, employees seem to be voting with their feet, unwilling to sign up for a long hours culture. Now, although this will cause problems as far as editorial staff are concerned around uh, big events, for example, like the World Cup, Black Friday, the festive season, it's actually the loss of key engineering staff that could cause more damage. Uh, it is very likely though that Elon Musk will work to kind of stem the flow of key staff from the platform. So although it does look like it's a pretty uh, rocky road ahead for Elon Musk, it is very likely that he will take significant steps to turn it around. The road ahead for Elon Musk is indeed tough. He is now staring at a new challenge. Musk seems to be losing the trust of his employees. No surprises there. Guess what did they do? Twitter's trust and safety team called in sick. They all went on leave simultaneously. All this happened on the 10th of November. The trust and safety team had serious objections to Musk's plan for Twitter Blue. The subscription service that would have uh, given all paying users a blue tick next to their profiles. Reports say Musk is overriding or making up policy as he went without any input.
perhaps the chief tweet should have paid heed to those warnings. His subscription service called Twitter Blue has been on pause for weeks now. Twitter could not get it right. They ended up verifying a lot of impersonators. Musk has promised Twitter Blue will make a comeback. We all are waiting for his next move. We on now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.